Gimsa stain, designed by German chemist and bacteriologist Gustav Gimsa, is a common method to stain blood, smears, and other biological samples. It is a differential staining that is able to distinguish different cellular structures according to their affinity for basic dyes, acid ions, or a combination of both. Mathological stains use methylene blue and its oxidation products as basic dyes, combining them with eosin as an acid dye. In this way, we obtain a stain that discriminates the different cellular structures as they are stained with the acid dye, with the basic one, or with a combination of both. For this purpose, we use the mixture of methylene blue and eosin proposed by Yimsa. The basic dye stains the acid components, like the nucleus of the cell, resulting in a blue or violet coloration. And the acid dye has affinity for the basic structures, like the cytoplasm, giving it a pink coloration. The materials that we are going to use to make a blood smear are blood sample, two slices, and a Pasteur pipette. We place a clean glass slide on a flat surface, for example on the laboratory bench, and first of all we label the frosted area with a pencil. To obtain blood, you can use a lancet. After a soft, gentle massage, we will prick one finger previously disinfected with 70% ethanol. If blood is collected with a needle and it is not used at the moment, it can be stored at 4 degrees in a refrigerator, mixed with an anticoagulant agent such as EDTA. In our case, we have it ready to use in a lab tube. A drop of blood is deposited in the end of the slide. Next, take another clean slide and holding it at an angle of about 45 degrees, touch the blood with one end of the slide, so the blood runs along the edge of the slide by capillary action. Push carefully along the length of the first slide to produce a thin smear of blood. It is very important to do it quickly and uniformly. Once the smear is done, let it dry in the air. Let's see the procedure at real speed. This will be an appropriate smear to continue the protocol. We can distinguish different parts in it. The head, which is the part where the drop of blood was placed. It has a high concentration of erythrocytes, and you can find piles of erythrocytes. The body. It is the part that follows the head. In it, there are no piles of erythrocytes, so it is the ideal part used to evaluate the sample with a microscope. The tail and the terminal area. It is the end of the extension, so they are not good areas for visualization. Since the leukocytes are large, the erythrocytes are deformed, and we find abundant platelets. Here we show you a smear that is not optimal for its staining with Yimsa. We can observe several defects. An excessively large drop of blood was deposited, grooves that appear because the slide did not slip with even velocity and pressure. There are areas with an excessive accumulation of erythrocytes and areas where they are deformed. There is an accumulation of blood at the end due to the excessive size of the drop deposited. Although there are different variations of the gym's stain, in this video we show you a very fast and simple protocol to perform it. We will need a packet or crystallizer, methanol, gym's dye, PBS buffer, distilled water and graduator cylinders. The first step is to fix the sample. To do this, we submerge the slits in a packet with absolute methanol and let it act 3 minutes. <music> 
During this time, we will prepare the staining solution with a 1 to 9 ratio of GIMSA PBS. Our differential coloration of GIMSA is concretely of azure eosine methylene blue. In the market, there are several products with variations in their compositions. After fixation, we immerse the slits in the GMS solution for 10 minutes. Finally, we wash the slates with abundant distilled water. It is important to take care not to throw the water directly into the sample. We let the sample dry in the air for a few minutes and then we have the sample ready for its observation under a microscope. If we want the sample to be kept long term, we will use an adhesive solution and a cover slip to protect it.